Hello, here I am, dressed for the woodlands. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah. So, 70 pound horse bow, eBay, the cheapest one on eBay, a um, thousand arrow test. Now, since I reviewed this one, um, when I, I just got it, put it together, and just coloured it, made it sort of like nice for shooting, um, I've all put my. All my other bows have had a rest, and this one's had a thousand arrows test. I've put a thousand arrows through it, and they're not all the same arrows. It's just um, a motley bunch of arrows. Um, this is the end. I've emptied out my quiver, and as you can see, there's a lot of different arrows in here different weights, different spines, different things, and this bow can handle them all really, really, really well. Um, so, we've put a thousand, uh, and after a thousand arrows, there are, is absolutely zero sign of wear on the string. It's Nothing has ch changed. It's still beautiful to pull and it still shoots. Most of the shooting I did was sort of like about, well, quite a lot of my shooting was um, in one of my ranges, or not range, it's in the woods actually, um, one of the places, and that's from 20 to 30 yards. And this one is at the moment down there, that's a hundred paces, probably about 70 or 80 yards. Um, I like stretching, you know, stretching this, its legs, if you see what I mean on this one. And over this distance, it's a very, very lovely shoot. And um, I would thoroughly recommend a thousand arrows. I did see a, a review of a bow um, that was a Scythian bow from the Bronze Age or something like that that somebody replicated and they said it's incredibly reliable we put 300 arrows through it and it's still working so I suspect that this this one this one would I, I can't see why you can't you're gonna get 10,000 arrows through this you might need to change the string you might need you know but apart from that it's a little bit of wear on here from where the, where that's brushing against it but what I've done is put insulation tape around there which is completely replaced apart from that the the twist at the top hasn't moved since you know it's still twisted it's still a bit sort of odd and twisted but as I said you know it's pushed the string to this side so I put this little red bit of thing around it just tells me that if I'm shooting the three finger draw on this one, I want the, the red in the top and I can just can then just shoot this. Your Archer's Paradox or and something I've never really, really thought about Archer's Paradox, but your Archer's Paradox is minimized, minimized and um, shoots really, really nicely. Um, so I've got its bigger brother coming. I've got an 85 pound version of this one coming. So watch out for that and also away from bows crossbows i'm building an adarini um it's been 3d printed and i've just got to assemble it and we're going to put an 80 pound adarini so that should be quite interesting okay so anyway thousand arrows through this one no wear or tear cheers